Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam. This video in particular is part of the logic series. So drum roll please. This is one of the, my favorite things to teach kasi marami na kakamali dito when in fact, madali lang siya if alam niya yung technique. So today we're going to talk about one word which is all. What does all mean when it comes to language, to logic questions? Kasi the meaning ng all when it comes to logic is different from all when it comes to language. And kailangan natin ma-differentiate yun. The best way for you to learn data sufficiency is for you to learn how to draw it. In order for me to show you better kung ano ibig sabihin ng all, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how. Alright, so this type of question is something that you would use uh, civil service exam, Sinapol Com exam, AFSAT, um, NMAT, anything na may logic, um, even sa uh, LAE or sa OPCAT sometimes. Uh, so it's very valuable that you know kung ano ang technique dito sa ganitong klaseng tanong. Okay, we're going to talk about the word all. Now, ang logic rules natin, ito yung uh, things that I always teach my students when it comes to live reviews. Uh, we're going to talk about all ngayon. There are other words like some, only. Um, and uh, those things are, will be discussed in a, a live session or in the next few videos. Okay? So, ang rules natin, number one, to na buhay does not apply. What that means is, everything that happens in real life does not apply to sa sentence. We're, all we're going to talk about are yung, yung mga sinabi or stimate directly doon sa statements na sinabi, na sinabi sa tanong. So, whether that statement is true or not in real life, if the question tells you na yun ang totoo, then you'd have to just agree. Okay? For example, if it says that boys are girls, okay, obviously, boys are not girls. They're different. Pero if the statement says that, then you, you would agree. Yun lang. Uh, whether it's totoo sa totoong boy o hindi. And it's given me a lot of problems uh, when I teach this sometimes because people can't move past kung ano yung totoong buhay. But you really have to think about that when you're uh, solving logic questions. Okay? Number two, take it one line at a time. Pag sinabing one line at a time, ibig sabihin, if you already talked about yung first line, okay, you have to move on and then discuss the second line. Hindi pwede yung pabalik-balik. Okay? And I'm going to demonstrate that later. I'm going to understand that better, but I suggest that you memorize these two. Pareho namang T. Una, tunay na buhay does not apply. It also rhymes para madaling tandaan. And take it one line at a time. Okay, so first, first question. All Filipinos are happy people. Now, yung word all na yan, yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. When you draw all, the word all looks like this. Okay? Yan. This is when you, if you talked about logic when you were still studying, okay? Ito ang itsura ng all. Okay? With the shaded region being a null set. Pag sinabing null set, ibig sabihin walang laman. Nang laman. However, this is something that would complicate things. So, ako, I changed this up to make it simpler. When you draw all, instead of doing that, dahil nagsisave rin tayo ng time, you're just going to do this. Okay? Bubalain ko muna yung laman. Okay. Instead of doing the two circles like that, ang all will look like this. All, blank, R, blank. Pag sabing all A, R, B, it means, itong bilog na to, this becomes your A, and this big circle here becomes your B. It looks like a sunny side up na itlog, di ba? So, egg na sunny side up, yung fried. Okay, so that's how you remember it. The word all looks like a sunny side up egg. So, pag sinabing all Filipinos are happy people, it will look something like this. Okay? All Filipinos are happy people. All Filipinos, ito yung Filipinos, lahat yan ang nasa loob niyan, Filipinos. They are all happy people. All Filipinos are happy people. Okay? And now that na-draw na natin yung first line, okay, tapos na tayo dyan. Second line says, Danny is a happy person. Okay? Ngayon, ang question, is Danny a Filipino? True, false, or uncertain? Ngayon, yung Danny is a happy person, okay, papatayin ko yung kulay para lang mas visual. Kung happy person si Danny, ibig sabihin nasa loob siya ng circle na happy people. Okay? Ngayon, pwede mo ba siya ilagay dito? Will it still make him a happy person? The answer would be yes. Kasi lahat na nandito sa malaking-malaking bilog na yan, lahat yan, itong buong, buong, yan, lahat yan ay happy people. Ngayon, kung ilalagay ko siya dito, siya ay magiging Filipino at happy person. He's going to be both. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, if you say na Danny is a happy person, and Danny, is Danny a Filipino? The answer would be uncertain. Bakit? 
Kasi pwedeng, ang sinabi lang naman eh, happy person siya. Hindi ba sinabi na Filipino siya. So, kung happy person siya, pwedeng dito, sa labas, pwedeng dito sa loob. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pwede siyang Filipino, pwede siyang hindi. You can be happy without being a Filipino. Yun yung ibig sabihin lang. Okay? So, again, uh, kaya I'm making this a free, a free video para kahit na hindi kayo mag-attend ng review, although we are going to discuss this more in depth if you attend one of the live review events or if you go into the online learning program, uh, makatulong pa rin sa inyo and you can just keep watching this until you figure that out. Okay? So, ganito yung mag-iingyari dun sa ating solution. Now, this is a fairly simple um, question. Sometimes it's a little more difficult. So, itataas na itataas ko yung level. Okay? Next question. Sabi, if all kittens are cats and all cats are dogs, all dogs are kittens or kittens is true, false, or uncertain. Again, the same thing na ginawa natin before, we're going to draw it para mas maging visual sa atin. Sabi, una, all kittens are cats. Again, yung all looks like a sunny side up egg. So, ang all kittens, these are kittens, all of them are cats. That would look like that. All kittens are cats. And, ang sabi, all cats are dogs. Na dito lang papasok yung first rule natin na tunay na buhay does not apply. Kasi if you read this, tapos sasabihin mo, ay hindi, hindi posible kasi ang pusa, hindi siya aso. And then you answer false. That's not necessarily correct. Kasi nga sa logic, whether it's true or not sa totoong buhay, what matters is sinabi yan dun sa tanong. At kung sinabi sa tanong na all cats are dogs, you just say yes. So, okay, yes. And then you draw it. Now, all cats are dogs has to look like this. Yung bilog na C, nasa loob na, bilog na dogs. Eh, meron tayong existing na circle na C dyan. At dahil existing na yung circle na yan, i-combine lang natin yung drawing natin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung dogs, ilalagay natin sa bigger circle outside. All cats are dogs. Okay? So, yan ang itsura nung buong statement na yan. So, yung question, which is all dogs are kittens, becomes, okay? Now, all dogs are kittens. Nakita natin, ang itsura ng all dogs is buong circle na ito, yung blue. Kaya lang, part lang niya yung kittens. So, hindi totoo na all dogs are kittens. Kasi dapat, mas maliit yung bilog na dog at nasa loob siya ng bilog na kitten. So, some dogs are kittens, but not all of them. So, the correct answer is false. Okay? Now, next. All accountants are good at math. All people who are, are good at math are smart. Leah is good at math. Which statement is definitely the true? So, ito, ibang bali lang ng same question. May mga statements tayo. A, Leah is an accountant. B, Leah is smart. C, Leah is a smart accountant. And actually, Leah is a true person and accountant talaga siya. And she it really is very smart. She's actually the one helping me out sa finances or sa uh, financial statements for Team Laika. So, hi, Madam Leah, in the off case na you're watching this, although you don't need it. Thank you so much for your help. Um, now, balik ka tayo sa question. All accountants are good at math. Ngayon, isa-isa lang. First line, all accountants are good at math. If you draw that, ibig sabihin yung bilog ng accountants na sa loob ng bilog na people who are good at math. Okay? Good at math. Yeah. Now, next ang sabi, all people who are good at math, ibig sabihin itong bilog na yan, they are all also smart. Okay? Again ha, yung all accountants are good at math, looks like this. And then, all people who are good at math, dahil meron na tayong circle na yan, mas malaki pa doon yung are smart. Bakit? Ang quick explanation yan would be this. Hindi lang naman yung mga magagaling sa math ang smart. Diba? Pwede din naman i-count yung panay magagaling sa language, magagaling sa arts. They are also smart. That is yung isipin ninyo doon sa logic ng the word na all. Okay? So, tapos na natin i-drawing yung sentence 2. Third statement, Leia is good at math. So, kung ilalagay natin si Leia sa loob ng circle, okay, Leia should be good at math. So, nandito siya. Pwede siya dito. Okay? That counts. Pwede rin dito. Pero hindi specify, Hindi sinabi kung saan siya sa banda dyan. So, yung statement na hinahanap natin is definitely true. It's in 100% true. So, Leia is an accountant is not 100% true. May 50-50 chance ka na totoo. Kasi kung nandito siya sa lobby, then it's true. Kung nandito siya sa labas, then it's false. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito definitely true. Leia is smart. Okay? So, again, whether nandito si Leia or nandito, nasa loob siya ng malaking bilog na smart. All of these are smart 
people. Nasa loob pa rin naman siya ng shaded region. So, ibig sabihin, this is 100% true. Okay? So, yung Leah is a smart accountant. Same thing. He, she is smart, pero not necessarily an accountant. So, this is also wrong. So, the correct answer is that B. Leah is smart. Okay? So, again, if you are confused, try and try again. Alright? Now, the next one, I'm going to put it here. And then, I'm going to challenge you to solve it by yourself. Okay? So, try nyo lang i-drawing and hit pause now. Alright, let's see if you got it right, okay? Again, magdodrawing tayo. All PBA players are tall, fast, or both. So, ibig sabihin, kung ikaw ay PBA player, okay, PBA player, you have to be tall, okay, you have to be tall, fast, or both. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, Okay, if you want if you want to draw it, okay, ang PBA players lahat yan nandiyan. Okay? Pwedeng ganito rin. Okay? Ito yung mga fast, ito yung mga tall, ito yung both. And all of that, kalita ko yung kulay para mas visual. Okay? You can be fast, tall or both, lahat yan, yung blue na yan. Okay, yung shaded region, all of the those na blue are PBA players. Ngayon yung sabi, ang sabi, Johnny is a PBA player. Okay, Johnny, a PBA player, is not tall. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya tall, wala siya dito. Hindi siya tall. Pero definitely, PBA player siya. So, if hindi siya tall, ibig sabihin, hindi siya pasok dito sa buong circle na yan, dapat nandito siya sa labas. Okay. He can't be both kasi nga, hindi na nga siya tall. So, ibig sabihin nun, ano masasabi natin about Johnny? Is Johnny tall and fast? No, not really. Kasi ito yun eh, sa both. Eh, hindi nga siya tall. So, Johnny is not a PBA player. Eh, sinabi nga na Johnny is a PBA player. So, hindi yun totoo. Pero Johnny is fast kasi nga, kung PBA player ka, automatic na you have to be either fast, tall, or both. Okay? So, kung hindi siya mabilis, eh, hindi siya matangkad, ibig sabihin mabilis siya. Alright? So, again, these are the things that you have to figure out, you have to draw, you have to keep doing. That way, uh, mas maging sanay kayo to analyze things. You have to visually see these, th these things. Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. If you want more logic videos, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as new video posts. And also, if you want to reach out to me or if you want to get a copy of the review materials, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to find out kung paano nyo kayo makakuha ng sinili ninyong copy. You can also find out kung kailan at saan ang mga susunod na mga review events. So thank you guys, God bless you, and I hope to see you on my next video. I'll see you soon.